Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Hydrodenitis suppurativa. Introduction. Hydrodenitis suppurativa is a long-lasting skin condition. It is also called HS. It can affect a single area of the body or multiple areas. HS can cause pain and inflammation. It can also affect a person emotionally and may lead to depression and isolation. But treatment can improve your physical and emotional health. This program will help you understand the cause, diagnosis, and treatment of hydrodenitis suppurativa. Hydrodenitis suppurativa. Hydrodenitis suppurativa is a long-lasting skin condition. In addition to other symptoms, it can cause lumps beneath the skin called nodules that come back repeatedly. HS usually starts in the teenage years or in a person's 20s. The nodules and sores, or abscesses, can cause pain and inflammation. Inflammation makes the skin warm to the touch, swollen, and red. Other complications of HS are less common. These include severe infections, scar tissue that makes it hard to move the body, and skin cancer. HS affects more than 1 in 100 people. Women have a greater risk of getting it than men. Having a family history of HS also increases your risk. Symptoms The most common symptoms of HS are red bumps that leak pus, blackheads, hard lumps and tunnels below the skin that connect the lumps. HS can affect a single area of the body or multiple areas. Symptoms are most likely to develop around hair follicles. These are found in the armpits, groin, and anal area. Symptoms can also happen in places where skin touches skin. The skin under the breasts and between the thighs and butt cheeks are often affected. Skin in the affected areas develop blackheads, red lumps, cysts, and areas with pus. As time goes by, scars can form. HS is usually painful. The lumps hurt if they are pressed. Severe HS can affect a person emotionally and may lead to depression and isolation. It can also be associated with inflammation of the joints. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Causes Hair grows in hair follicles within the skin. HS happens when these hair follicles become blocked. Bacteria in the blocked hair follicles cause them to swell and burst. Researchers don't fully understand why the hair follicles become blocked. It is not clear whether the bacteria cause HS or grow in number because of it. Smoking and being overweight or obese aren't the main causes of HS. They can make the symptoms worse, though. Having a family member with HS raises a person's risk of developing the disease, but it does not mean that every person with a family history will develop HS. Poor hygiene doesn't cause HS. HS is a disease that requires medical help to control. Diagnosis Diagnosis for HS usually involves a review of your symptoms and a complete medical history. Your healthcare provider will perform a physical exam to look at the affected areas. Diagnosis may involve blood tests. These can check hormone levels and rule out other possible problems with the same symptoms. If the sores leak, your healthcare provider may collect a sample of the fluid. It may be used to rule out other skin problems. Treatment HS cannot be cured. It may cause symptoms for many years and eventually become inactive. 
but treatment can improve your physical and emotional health. Treatment depends on the individual and his or her symptoms. In general, early HS is often treated with medicine or other therapies. People with severe, ongoing HS may need surgery. Your health care provider may prescribe antibiotics. Be sure to take the full amount exactly as they are prescribed. Stopping them too early could make your symptoms worse. Steroid injections into the nodules or steroid pills taken by mouth can help. Steroids reduce inflammation in the body. Antiseptics are creams that slow or prevent the growth of germs. Your health care provider may prescribe them to help you treat your HS. Retinoids are medications related to vitamin A. They can have severe effects on your health. They are available only by prescription from a dermatologist. A dermatologist is a health care provider that specializes in skin health. Some health care providers may recommend hormonal therapy. It changes the balance of hormones in body to reduce symptoms. Immune system suppressants may also be used. These can be in tablet or injection form. They must be used with caution because they can cause severe side effects. A healthcare provider can help you weigh the risks and benefits of this treatment option. In some cases, surgery may be needed. Ask your healthcare provider what kind of procedure is right for you. Preventing symptoms. Sometimes you can prevent the symptoms of HS by knowing what triggers them. HS can happen where areas of skin rub together, such as the inner thighs, between the butt cheeks, or underneath the breasts. Wearing loose clothes can help. Shaving areas of skin affected by HS can cause irritation, so avoid shaving affected areas. If you smoke, quitting can help improve the symptoms of HS. See your health care provider for support in quitting. Living with HS can be hard to deal with emotionally. Joining a support group can help you process and manage your feelings. HS happens more often in people who are overweight and obese. Losing weight can help you manage your symptoms. You can ask your health care provider for resources and support. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Hydrodenitis suprativa is a long-lasting skin condition. It is also called HS. It can affect a single area of the body or multiple areas. Symptoms are most likely to develop around hair follicles found in the armpits, groin, and anal area. This disease can cause pain and inflammation. The most common symptoms of HS are red bumps that leak pus, blackheads, hard lumps and tunnels below the skin that connect the lumps. Severe HS can affect a person emotionally and may lead to depression and isolation. It also can be associated with inflammation of the joints. Diagnosis for HS usually involves a review of your symptoms and a complete medical history. Your health care provider will perform a physical exam to look at the affected areas. Treatment depends on the individual and his or her symptoms. In general, early HS is often treated with medicine or other therapies. People with severe, ongoing HS may need surgery. Sometimes you can prevent the symptoms of HS by knowing what triggers them. Avoid shaving areas affected by HS. Wearing loose clothes can also help. If you smoke, quitting can help make the condition more manageable. HS cannot be cured. It may cause symptoms for many years and eventually become inactive. But treatment can improve your physical and emotional health. Thank you for using Explain.